Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is going to be a lesson on counting quintuplets, which are a group of five equally spaced notes between every quarter note. So if we were to have a bar of 4 4, there would be 20 notes. It's kind of like a 16th note plus one. Check it out. Two, three, four. Five equally spaced notes per click. Click representing the quarter note, of course. What I grew up counting is an East Indian rhythm. It's really similar to the one that Pete Lockett and Steve Smith use, so, but it just works a little better for me because I grew up with it. So, here's how that goes. It goes ta ka din na ga ta ka din a ga So, once you string them together, you can actually end up ripping it pretty quickly. Let's try it nice and slow together. So count with me out loud, not in your head. You've heard me talk about that before. Taka din na ga, taka din na ga, taka din na ga, taka din na ga. Let's try it on the pad. So taka din na ga, 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 ta. So one of the most important things when we're talking about quintuplets is what we're feeling when we're playing the quintuplet. Now I personally want you just feeling the pulse. Ta. Beat one, the quarter note, what the metronome is doing. That's what I want you feeling when we're talking about quintuplets. Do this for all of the exercises. It'll really help give you perspective on what we're doing because it's going to just start feeling like notes at some point if you spend too much time just playing quintuplets. Okay, so here is the first exercise. We're going to take quintuplets and we're going to accent each individual note point. Now I'm just going to run through it so that you can hear it and makes the video a little quicker. I want you to work on each of them individually and making sure you go back and forth between 16th notes or sixes. Again, doesn't matter which, both would be nice. So now let's try something a little tougher. Let's put flams on the first note of each of the quintuplets. Now let's try back and forth between quintuplets and sixteenth notes. Good. Let's accent the second note of the quintuplet. That's right. Loop that, work on it around the kit. You can do some very cool things with that rhythm. All right, so the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to take quintuplets and we're going to turn them into an easy double bass groove. So just singles on our feet snare drum on two and four and uh, let's take a look at a kind of a syncopated pattern between ride and snare drum but it's not anything that's really that difficult listen okay so work that groove until it feels right remember we got to feel the pulse taka den naga taka den naga taka den naga taka den naga ta we got to feel that all the way through once it's solid, then you can start messing around a little bit. Start just taking quintuplets and play around the kit. Start with singles, going with your feet, just singles, snare drum, toms, cymbals, whatever you want. Just move it around. Once you're comfortable with that, add in dynamics, start adding in rest. As it, just play with it, just until you can really feel the quintuplet. I find this is a really good exercise.
All right, so practice, practice that. Make sure you're counting and make sure you definitely practice all the individual note placements, the flams, all that stuff. When we get to the advanced polyrhythm stuff in a few weeks, you're gonna definitely thank yourself that you did. Because when we start doing quintuplet polyrhythms and like cutting little pieces of them and stuff, mm -mm, it is not gonna work unless you have these fundamentals down. So work on them and I'll see you guys real soon. Later.